God bless. This is a testimony about a man I met, um, and I sold him an electronic device from Facebook Marketplace. Met him on the street. He met his family. When I met him in person, I felt in my heart to pray for him. I felt so much love for this man. Um, it was unusual for me because even though I have the heart of the Lord, and ever since the Lord changed me back in 2018, I feel extreme love for the lost and everyone for that matter. I don't hate anyone. I love everyone. Well, I had a deep, unique love in my heart for this man i prayed for this man and i tried to continue communication um we had a little chat um through text and then i sent him this letter in november 6 i said hello jay hope you and your family are doing great i have something important to share with you please read carefully the day you contacted me the first time that morning on sunday october 31st i woke up to three loud door knocks at 7.26 a.m., please read the following verses. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and I will dine with him, and he with me. Revelation 3.20 When I heard the knocks, I knew that was the Lord, but I already answered his call and accepted his invitation. So I believe I heard the knocks for me to use it as a testimony for others to hear and you came to mind first, Jay. He is extending his invitation to you. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I don't think that when you look at the electronics that I sold to you, and then made me 36 minutes from my home, um, and me having an unusual strong conviction to pray for you that night, and then the knocks. I don't think any of it was a coincidence. Okay, I'll leave it at that. If you have anything to say, just let me know. God bless you. Then he replied. And he said, I have been awakened in the past to what has sound, sounded like a banging or slamming of a door. So this is bizarre. Also, Someone has told me about watching numbers. I have been waking up and going to the bathroom at 3.33 a.m. at least three times this week. I replied to him and I, and I told him we learned to look up numbers online fairly recently. And that's how the Lord communicate with us. When you look at the number 333 in strong concordance, it means to observe carefully. The usage is... I look at attentively, gaze at, cons concide, pay close attention. The morning I was waking up by three loud door knocks at 7.26 a.m. The number 6.26 means to seize, catch up, snatch away, hard puzzle. Put those two meanings together of those numbers I just mentioned. And the message for you is to consider and pay close attention to the rapture. That is what the Lord is telling him. If you dream about the sound of an open door and then it slams shut, it means you have missed an opportunity which is no longer available for now. And the Bible scripture that goes along with that is in Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. I recommend that you read it. I told them. When you have a few minutes, Jesus talked about the ten virgins, referring, referring to us today. Five were foolish, five were, were wise. The five wise virgins prepared and paid close attention to his coming. And when the bridegroom Jesus came, the rapture, they went in through the open door. The five foolish virgins did not prepare, did not watch, and the door was shut. They were left behind. These are the lukewarms and the ones who... Believe in one safe, always safe. They don't want to be corrected by the Holy Spirit. They want to keep their life. They want to stay on the world. They want to love the world. And they want to continue sinning. While making excuses and saying they want to be with the Lord. They love the Lord. They pray. They go to church. They read the Bible. Yet, they don't fully surrender. Later, they came asking 
Lord, Lord, open the door to us. Then Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. He then thanked me for all the insights and conversation. But this is a testimony that is, in my opinion, truly sad. That the Lord has to speak to a man and tell him that he has missed an opportunity to watch for the rapture. That the door has been shot in his face because he was foolish, did not prepare, and decided to stay in the world. This is a decision that each individual makes on his own. Every man for his own, really. I cannot give you my oil. I cannot give you my salvation. I cannot give you faith. It doesn't matter how hard I try. Sometimes I encourage people. Sometimes people do gather a little bit of faith here and there. But ultimately, you are responsible for your own salvation.